I've been like a full-on snot factory, just like dripping and sneezing and itching and it's just been a disaster. Hey guys, it's been kind of a crazy week here. Uh, I've been trying to get out more videos, but uh, my allergies have been acting up and it, uh, it's been a disaster. It's just, I've been so snotty and just yucky and icky and no one wants to see that on video, right? So we've had a lot of things going on here. Last night, Bridget went out and found a whole bunch of free plants, perennials and flowers. There's a family in town that is putting an addition on their place. So they had to get rid of this big garden that they had. So they put an ad on Facebook for basically you come and grab the plants and they're yours. So she came home last night with a pickup truck full of flowers and stuff. So this morning we started planting those. We had the bees swarm yet again from the other hive. So we should have been proactive on that and changing the frames and the hives, uh, putting in some new empty frames, but uh, we didn't. So we did it today kind of after they swarmed. So hopefully they'll come back again. We assume they will because the other ones did. But we've got four massive, like really big frames of honey. So we're going to probably do that today or in the next couple days because we put on one of the excluders, one of the Quebec bee escapes. So the bees will leave the one super that's full of honey. So we'll probably get that off in a couple days. So we might do all the frames at once when we do that because we've got one full super full of honey. So we've got to harvest that and get that off of there and probably put a new a super on there. So it's great because some of the plants she got last night, we got planted this morning has been some hostas and some other perennials. So we've got them through basically our little shade garden here. We've got a bunch planted over in the food forest there. We've got uh, some planted along the house here. We're going to try and get some more stuff in here so it kind of, you know, blocks the view of the house a little bit. Makes uh Makes it look a little nicer with some of the flowers in there. But what I do is I'll actually use the tractor with the post hole digger on it. And I'll just go along and dig the holes with the post hole digger. It makes it so easy to plant the plants that way. However, this morning when I did it, I got uh, stuck on some tree roots. And it might be a little hard to see. but I actually bent my auger a bit. It got so stuck, it wouldn't pull out with the tractor. So I kind of went forward and backwards and moved the tractor around a bit, just trying to loosen up the soil. But I guess I did it hard enough that uh, there's now a little slight bend in my auger. So it still works fine, except it just wiggles around a bit and there's a little more vibration. So somehow I'm gonna see if I can get that straightened. I'm not sure how, we'll see. I'll show what else is going on too. The greenhouse is just rocking. We got uh, tomatoes already coming up. Um, broccoli's looking good. We got peas along the back here. Tomatoes down the far side. The melons are doing well. We've already been eating and harvesting lettuce from the far side over there. Got lots of herbs coming up as well. This has been a huge benefit for us. Our raised bed garden is doing amazing. We got tons of green onions. The peas are coming up. The turnips are doing really well. Carrots, beets, kohlrabi, leeks. It's just been awesome this year. So hopefully we'll be able to start harvesting some turnips soon. Uh, definitely some green onions will start coming out soon. We've already had some radishes. So it's been yummy already having salads with the radishes. So we were thinking of buying a hay feeder for the cows, but they're so expensive and we've got other stuff we're paying for right now, trying to keep our budget in check. So what we actually did, we grabbed an old trailer that we had on the property 
and we put a board across the back and we're using that as our basically new hay feeder. So we can pull that out, load a bale into it, and drive it back in. So it's been working out really well. The cows love it too. And we love it because they don't waste as much hay. They're not laying in the hay now that uh, like they don't try and squish the hay bale and then lay up on top of it. So it's been working out really good. So besides the problem with the bees swarming, our other problem is these guys right here. Last year we didn't really have an issue, but this year with these guys, we're having problems with them escaping. They're trying to dig under the fence and last year there were the pigs dug enough around the fence that there let was a few openings but we tried to fill in some of those openings with gravel and stuff uh, we put logs uh, you can see it over on the other side we put logs around the bottom of the fence to just to try and keep these guys in well that still wasn't working so what we did is we put a small electrical wire all around the bottom of the fence so that was working up until the point where now that they're digging up the dirt here with their noses they're actually pushing the dirt up onto the wire and shorting out the wire and then they escape again so yesterday i was in here digging all the dirt away from the wire trying to free that wire up just so it wouldn't short out but as you can see they've already started digging it up again and trying to push it up on top of that wire so I think well, at one point I'm going to have to take some time and maybe put some metal or dig out all around the bottom of the fence and sink another piece of fence into the bottom, into the dirt, just so they can't get out that way. Because you guys are misbehaving, right? Yes. You need to grow up a little bigger so you can't fit through the openings. So now that my allergies aren't as bad this week, hopefully I'll be able to get out a few more videos. The computer and the software has been acting up as well. So that's been a little difficult too. So this afternoon I'll probably keep working on uh, our new cattle chute that I've been working on since last year. We need somewhere to basically run the cows into and be able to squeeze them to a certain point and get them to stop. know what is gonna happen so I hope you found that a little bit interesting and helped explain why we haven't put out quite as many videos as we usually do usually go we go a little nuts and put out like four or five videos a week so last week was a little slow I don't know if we'll keep trying to put out four or five videos a week I think we might try and tone it down to three just cuz this it's a lot of work we both have the full-time jobs, then trying to look after everything here. And now the kids are off school as well. So we've got them through the day. So we got to look after them as well. So there's a lot of stuff we're going on. But uh, we want to keep you guys updated because it's been such a great journey and we're loving this so much. And you guys have been amazing to us. The feedback, uh, all, the, all the conversations and everything. So... We want to make sure we keep you updated and keep you enjoying what, you, what you're seeing. So thanks again, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Love ya.